us a quick uh, demo video on how to use the uh, roller towel squeegee system for drying quartz. It uh, consists of a roller squeegee, a foam color covered roller, and then loops of microfiber towel that slip over the roller. Uh, first thing, you got to make sure, get, push as much water off the quart as possible, either with a conventional squeegee or you can use the foam roller itself to push water. And I don't know if you can zoom in there. Yeah. You can see that it actually will lift debris ahead of it and push the, the, the water off. Ideally, you want to get rid of uh, all of the, the debris. If there's too much debris, I should really be sweeping this off beforehand. But you can see you can, you can get all pretty much all of the standing water off of the court first. I'm going to ignore all this other debris. So then, once you've got all the water pushed off, to get the towel loop on the, the squeegee, loosen the little red knob up by about a half inch or so. Then this whole side pulls up and you can free the end of the squeegee. Take the towel loop and drape it over your arm like that, grab the end, and then you can put it down onto the squeegee, push this thing, the end bracket, back in place. Tighten the screw back down. Straighten it so that the seam aligns with the roller in the middle of the roller. Then you can basically just use some light pressure to push the towel into the court. And you'll notice on the first pass, it doesn't actually pick up that much water because the, the towel is uh, um, needs to be wetted a little bit first. But once you get going, you see it starts picking up much more water. So I, I don't know if you can kind of see with the video the, the contrast between the, the dry spot and the, yeah. uh, the wet spot. Mm -hmm. So um, you can cover the whole court. Basically, if you've got a pretty dry court uh, where you've, you've pushed off the water pretty well, you can usually get do a full pickleball court with three of the towels. If you haven't done such a good job, it takes maybe four towels. If there's only sort of spot wetness, you may be able to get away with two towels. The one thing you want to avoid is if like over here, you've got a little puddle of standing water left, don't be tempted to try to do it with the towel because the towel will soak up, it will soak up the water instantly and then you just have to change the towels uh, more quickly. Um, Just do another couple quick passes here just to uh, dry off a bit more court here. notice that the, the, the towel stops picking up water and you'll, it, it'll start dragging on itself and that means that the towel is pretty much completely saturated. And at that point you want to switch towels because you aren't really doing any good. I'm going to go ahead and get this towel saturated so I can show tips for uh... so at this point the towel is really not doing anything anymore. It's sopping wet. So again, to take the towel off, loosen the knob up, take the towel off, put your new towel on, and then push this back down. A couple little tips. When you store this thing, don't leave it on the roller because it leaves flat spots in the foam. So I always just lean it up against a fence that way. And then lastly, for squeegeeing or uh, wringing out the towels, don't try folding over the towels and wringing it out in one, one fell swoop. It, it's really hard to wring out a lot of water that, that way. With the microfiber towels, go over here. 
What I do is I'll put them into a kind of a single layer like this and then ring them incrementally. And you can get almost, well, you get a lot of the water out. You can see how much is coming out. And then the hard part is keeping the end of the towel from the dry end from getting dripped on by the wet end. Once you've got a towel wrung out, a wet towel will cover about half as much area as a completely dry towel. So you can still use this, but you have to wring them out a lot more often. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks.